stock price. Bid, ask, spread, liquidity. If you are new to the world of the stock market, one of the first things you will have to learn is how to read a stock's price. This might seem really simple and rudimentary, right? Wrong. There is a lot to a stock's price, and when I think back all those years to when I began to learn about the stock market, reading a stock price really took some thinking about. For example, what is the bid price? What is the difference between the bid and the ask? What does last price mean? All these questions and more will be answered in this article. What's in a stock price? Take a look at this output from Yahoo Finance. It is a typical representation of stock price. How much of it do you understand? Stock price, last trade. If a stock is currently trading, e.g. the stock exchange on which it is being traded is open, then you will see the last price. This is the price at which the stock last changed hands from buyer to seller. This changes often. One important thing to note in this example is it's from the LSE, the London Stock Exchange, and stock prices here are quoted in pence. There are, of course, 100 pence in a pound. This last price is not £221.50, but 221.5 pence, or approximately £2.21, Great British Pounds. In the US stock markets, prices are quoted in US dollars, so if you trade US, you will see a stock price of $2.21. Stock price, trade time. This is the time at which the last share was traded. Here you can see the last trade was at 5 a.m. and 2 minutes, EDT, Eastern Daylight Time. Next we have the change. This is the difference between the last closing price and the current price, last price. Here we see that British Airways has increased 2.55% since the previous day's close. Previous close. This is the stock price of the last transaction of the previous day's trading. Stock price open. Now it gets interesting. The open price is the price at which the first share was traded for the current trading day. Here we see that the share price opened at 219.9 pence, but the previous close was 216. This means that the stock price gapped up on open by 0.2%, the difference between the open price and the previous close. Stock price, bid. The price a buyer bids to buy a stock. The bid price can be tricky to remember. The bid price is the current market price offered for the stock. So if you were to sell the stock now at market price, you would get roughly this price per share of 221.30. The easiest way to remember this is bid to get rid. The bid is the price you would get when you want to get rid of the stock. Stock price, ask. The ask or asking price is the opposite side of the trade to the bid price. If you want to buy a stock, this is the price that someone else is asking for it. The ask is the current price that it will cost you to buy each stock. An easy way to remember this is ask to buy. But why is there a difference? If one person is selling the stock at bid, 221.3 and another is buying the stock at ask 221.5 there is a difference of 0.2 pence per share in this case less than 0.1% this is called the spread stock price spread in the in this case british airways on the london stock exchange trades a lot of shares every day so the people handling the transaction between the buyers and the sellers have no problem finding matching partners for the transaction. When a stock is traded a lot, it means it is very liquid or has a lot of liquidity. 
A very liquid stock generally means there is a low bid-ask spread. When a stock is very rarely traded and the buyers and sellers cannot agree on a price to make a trade, then the spreads tend to be larger. Where does this difference in the bid and ask price go? The spread is usually the fee for the market maker, broker or specialist handling the transaction. This is not the same as the stockbroker fee which you will pay per trade to your broker. For example, the $9.99 per trade that goes to TD Ameritrade or other discount brokers. Note, stocks with a large spread can be a problem. It tells you two important things. One, the stock might not have a lot of liquidity, therefore it might be harder to sell at the price or time you wish to. Two, if you buy a stock with a large spread, for example 2%, this means you would need to make a profit of 2% on the stock just to break even. So be careful about the spread. Days range. This is the range within which the stock price moved up or down for the current trading day. 52 week range. The 52 week range is the value between which the stock price has moved within the last 52 weeks. Here we can see that the stock price for the last year has fluctuated between 130.8 and 255.8. So we know the current share price is towards the higher end of the 52 week range. Volume. Finally, we see the volume. This is how many shares have changed hands during the current trading day. Here we see nearly 2.5 million individual shares changed hands so far today. Summary. So what's in a stock price? Quite a lot actually. Remember three things. Bid to get rid, ask to buy, and be careful of large spreads.